Time to kill in Port Blair and I'm gonna check out the cellular jail. Just gonna go buy myself some ticket. Now entering and checking out the cellular jail. There are seven spokes, like a bicycle wheel of a cellular jail. That was one of them. I'm gonna head to the gallows. It's actually a model of how the prisoners were flogged and beaten up. Part of the prisoner's torture was to produce oil and that's the oil mill. Producing the oil was absolutely strenuous. And that's what they were made to do every single day. And if they want, and if they didn't produce the amount of oil required for a day, this is how they were tortured. This is the way the prisoners were kept in fetters. Absolutely disgusting. These are the solitary cells of the barracks. There was just a single prisoner kept in each and there was just one door to it, nothing else, just an iron door. We shall look into that. But for now, let's head to the gallows. It's pretty saddening actually, so I think I'm gonna get out of here. Go and actually check out what the cells look like now. Wow, I can't believe how narrow the entrance is. I think I can barely fit. So that's it. Just one window. They apparently had earthen beds, which later were given as wooden beds. This is just unbelievable. Quite scary actually looking at all of this, the amount of torture. Just living like this would have been pretty crazy. I don't think I'm gonna go up to the other two stories. There were a total of 663 cells in the whole of the cellular jail. And this is a bigger part of it. That is how long it was. This is just one of the seven parts of the cellular jail. That's actually the bolt that used to go in right from there and go through the door. Wow. The fact is that all the prisoners were kept in such solitude that in fact the window used to face the back of the other barrack. Real long walk, all right. It's absolutely quiet here. Can't imagine what it must have been like then. The tube light in this cell, I'm sure that wasn't how it was back then. Let's just take a walk up only to see what it's like. I 
actually pretty well marked you don't really need a guide here but we will not go to the third floor let's see what the second floor has for us here yeah, all the political internees incarcerated in the cellular jail they're actually a lot of them well you can see civilization around here now i'm sure there wasn't any civilization back then point of the gallery on first war of independence and going to just take a quick look there i do know about my freedom fighters but i don't know so much in depth but it's worth always taking a round since you've come all the distance and gain some more knowledge back is a very beautiful de depiction of our freedom fighters and how they ended up coming to the cellular jail and what their life at the cellular jail was so i'm done with that and here and in the center is actually the clock tower the central clock tower that kept a track of all of the barracks here is the gallery of andaman in older days done but going to find my spot now to take a selfie which you all shall see a lot of work that keeps happening here to make sure that cellular jail remains as a memorial and intact make tourists see what actually went down here So I'm signing off on the cellular jail. A lot more is gonna go down at Havelock, but for now, bye bye. Hope you guys liked it. To come and visit, in fact, I think Port Blair is great.